You're very welcome back to the show. Now, over 9,000 people and their family members live with MS across Ireland today. MS Ireland is a national organisation that provides information, support and advocacy services to those living with the disease that affects the central nervous system. Now, Ireland and Leinster rugby player James Tracy is the uh, Irish campaign ambassador of the Kiss Goodbye to MS global campaign, as MS is something he holds close to his heart and he has joined us uh, this morning. Straight from the Irish oh, camp, uh, James. Hey, good morning. Good, good of you, morning. Good of you to join us. Mm. It is, uh, as I said, a cause very close to your heart. Tell, tell us about your, your sister, Sarah Jane. So my sister, Sarah Jane, um, for people who don't know her, she's a qualified barrister, but her passion is horse riding. Okay. So uh, you can imagine someone who's been diagnosed with MS, it's, it's very tough for her. So mm. at her, her lowest point, she was told she wouldn't get on a horse again. And uh, for those who know Sarah Jane, she doesn't like to be told she can't do anything. Mm. <laughs> so um, she's altered her diet and she's uh, exercised and she's just had to change the way she lived and she's back on the horse. And, Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. That's fantastic. And, and she's jumping and everything, so she's uh, really, uh, she's taken back to it. Fantastic. Now, obviously, the condition itself, just talk us through what are the symptoms, how it happens, and what exactly is MS? So it's well, basically, um, for me and you, it's where your immune system attacks your nervous system. Okay. Um, so for her, um, it was a, like a loss of balance, and I remember uh, she was over in, in Germany, um, she just moved to a new yard with the horse riding and I'd gone over to visit her and um, we, you know, we were staying just down the road and I remember she, she couldn't find her way to the apartment that we were staying in. Mm. I was driving the car and, and she just kept forgetting just like silly little things and I noticed her balance. Um, you know, she, she kept she just, you know, it just wasn't right and she was blaming it on, she'd fallen a few times and obviously now we know why she'd fallen okay, off the horses sure. because her balance was gone. But just a few little things just didn't sit right with me and then um, a couple of weeks later she was home in hospital and, you know, so lucky they caught it when they did because she went to a back specialist in Germany and he obviously knew but he didn't want to say and he just, he told her to go home mm. and to go to hospital and she did and... She was lucky she caught it when she did. And as you say, yeah. she's, she's battled incredibly and is doing, doing really well, but not content with, with, with her own recovery and, and working on that. She's driving this campaign mm. mentioned mm. at the top Fantastic. there, a Kiss Goodbye to MS. Tell us how people can support it, how they can get involved uh, this month. Okay, so it's a Kiss Goodbye to MS is the, the campaign. It's wear, dare, or share. So you can wear red. Um, you can dare someone to do something. I've, I've dared one of my friends who hasn't exercised in school to do a triathlon. <laughs> and Look you can uh, <laughs> share it on social media. Um, so you text Smooch to 50300 to donate four euro. And it, just in general, you can get behind the campaign. That's fantastic. When you say wear red, I mean, can it be re red lipstick, red nails? You can, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, so the, the Facebook campaign, we're trying to get a, the smoochy yeah. selfie going. So that's, oh, that's where, good. yeah, you can get a, there's a, a lip kit and, and all that. All yeah. the information exactly. is there. Uh, by the way, wear red. I don't know if Sarah Jane realises what colour that Leinster actually wear. It's, you know, blue. Yeah, there's a bit of a conflict <laughs> and interest there. But yeah. uh, we had to go along with the red for lipstick. I don't think blue would have looked as nice. <laughs> Come here, uh, James, it's great, it's great to find out, you know, stories of, of people like yourself who are in the public mm -hmm. eye as, as a sports person and, and doing really well. And, and sort of what goes on is that you all have normal lives mm -hmm. like, like the rest of us and, and the challenges, etc. But it's been an incredible year for you. I was just talking to you before. It's almost a year since you made your European debut against Bath for Leinster, scored a try. A few months later, you're playing for Ireland, scoring a try, and now you're hopefully preparing for, for to be involved in the Six Nations. What's the, the last year of your life been like? Yeah, it's been it's been brilliant to be part of it. Um, there was a few years um, where I'd like I changed position, and I was kind of. Wondering had I made the wrong decision, um, mm. you know, I wasn't getting selected, I wasn't really playing, I was still getting used to playing that. I was putting in a lot of extra hours and not really kind of seeing the reward of it all and kind of wondering, you know, had I made a massive mistake and <clears throat> I suppose it just, it was more relief than anything else um, to be part of it. And like a friend of mine um, has moved over to play with Clefley Scarlet's Ty Byrne and you know, he would have been on the injury side of it, you know, mm. maybe it would have been different because he didn't change position, but he was injured for a while and he didn't get selected. And when you're playing, it's just, you, you feel part of it, just like anything. It's when you feel part of the team and you're, you know, you're playing every other week, it's, 
it's brilliant, you know, just to feel like you can contribute. You, you yeah. mentioned changing position there, and, and you know, I know there will be people, people watching who aren't rugby fans and don't maybe want to get too technical about it, but the man who's, you know, leading the Irish charge in the Six Nations, Joe Schmidt, had a big role in that. He sat you down and said, why don't you consider being a hooker? Mm. Which, for people that don't know, the guy who throws the ball in at, you know, at the line. I know which, that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I yeah, of course that. you know that, Lisa. I do. Rugby My fan number one. Did. Yes. Like, how big a sort of conversation has that been in your life? Yeah, well, massive uh, now, but I thought you it was... You weren't sure at the yeah, time. Yeah, exactly, yeah. For, for a while, I was wondering, you know, I'd have made the wrong decision. But um, it was he sat me down pretty much and, and asked me uh, what my aspirations were. And, you know, he said I, uh, my, my frame wouldn't take the weight that needed to be to be an international prop. So if I wanted to play internationally, I needed to think about moving maybe to a different position. So I think it was a, an, an easy decision there. And it's worked out well eventually. And, and the thing about it is, uh, you know, Sean Cronin, who has been the backup to Rory Best, has got injured in the build-up to this now. <laughs> do, I love be, the way you look at me be, and go, injured. injured. I do understand yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Be honest now, as a player in the same position, like, where is your... Do you go, oh, I feel really sorry for Sean, or do you go, oh, great, I've got more of a chance of getting in there? Be honest. Well, you look at that, there's, there's still so much competition, yeah. you know, uh, where someone gets injured, like there's still three other provinces where there's, you know, a good few lads fighting for positions. So mm -hmm. it's a nutritional game and people get injured all the time and it's definitely an opportunity, but it doesn't mean anything, I'm mm -hmm. afraid. I wish it did, but it doesn't. There's still, you know, the, the competition is still huge. I know, but in, in terms of the injuries, at least I know from my own husband, I mean, several different ones from ACL to knees to, you know, concussion. I mean, it's very, very dangerous contact sport. So in terms of your own injuries, I mean, how quickly is the recovery time? So obviously, depending on the injury, mm -hmm. I've been pretty lucky. You um, have been lucky. Yeah, yeah. In, on, in my kind of, um, I suppose, since I've been professional, I've only had one bad injury and I was out for seven weeks, I think, which is the very minor side of it. Um, and, you know, there's, there's some people who've been on the other end of that completely. Mm. Mm. Um, you know, out for a few years, Ed Byrne, and, and he's back playing now. And, uh, you know, some people can be so unlucky, but yeah, um, all you can do is, is uh, try and rehabilitate as much as you can. And it's a long road back sometimes. Well. Yeah. Yeah. James, obviously, well you're, you're with the camp at the moment, uh, and everybody's so excited in terms of the fans and, uh, and us you know, outside of it watching. What's it been like uh, in the camp this week, and what is the general mood ahead of next week's big kickoff against Scotland? I think, as a, you know, for myself, uh, as a, an Irish rugby fan for over the last few years, from being outside of it, I think there's a buzz always around the uh, Six Nations, and you can just feel it in the air when, when it comes to this time of the year. And after November, you know, going so well, um, I think, yeah, like, we're in a good spot and we've trained really hard, so, you know, hopefully the results can go the way. Can we win it? Go on. Yeah, of course we can. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, that's the stuff, James. Absolutely. Good man. Listen, it's great been great having you. Just to you. recap on uh, Kiss Goodbye to, to MS uh, in terms of what you, what you have to do, what, where, what number do you text? Give us a detail. So uh, text smooch to 50300. And an old selfie smooching. Uh, exactly. Smooching or dear a friend, one. which I think yes. is great. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have any friend. naughty ones up your sleeve, no? Other than Darren? Um, well, I think that's bad enough. If yeah, you I think it's Darren do the triathlon, you know, it's bad enough. So that's we're going to get He had him. a common in fairness. Yeah, exactly. Not exercise in exactly. school. Exactly. Tommy, I have my thinking cap on for you. <laughs> Don't even think <laughs> about Indeed. it. Indeed. All right. Thank you very much, James. Great to see you.